internet friends, welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the internet lifestyle show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, internet friends, Magic Brad here, Synergy Cafe and the Synergy Collaborative. And I've got another guest on the line, and I believe his name is Joseph. You there, Joseph? Hey, how's it going, Brad? You, you go with Joe or Joseph? Joe is good. Yo, Jay? Yep. <laughs> so Joe is a, involved with computer stuff, so he knows more about this computer stuff than I do. I just kind of do my little deal here. So, Joe, what we do on this is just to get to know who you are and what you do. So the first thing is, who are you? you got, you're married. You're from this, the east side of the country. And kids? No kids, not married. Um, I have a longtime girlfriend, not married yet, no kids yet. Um, you got a pet chameleon or anything? N no pets. I uh, my girlfriend really wants one, but I'm not so not as much of a dog person as she is. You um, gotta take care of them, you know. It's, 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 my, my wife bought me a fern, and now she's taking care of it because I don't want to deal with it. A <laughs> fern, oh, man. it's a lot of work, you know. I had a bamboo for a while, but that didn't end well. <laughs> so. But it but it did end, didn't it? It did, it did end, but not well, yes. So tell us about what you do. You're a computer, I mean, a website designer or something like that. Yeah, I have a web design and digital marketing agency. I basically started a started doing freelance web design in high school, and it was something I did on the side in high school and college. And then at the end of college, I had a startup company I was involved in that sort of fell apart at the end of college. And so I graduated with... Um, you know, no job lined up and no startup company, and the only thing I was doing was this freelance web design, and so that's what I focused on, and I built it up into a, a sort of what I call a virtual agency, where I have a team, I have project managers and everybody, and, uh, you know, we have clients all over the place, and now I'm making this transition to doing some coaching as well as some, some training programs and things for other freelancers that want to grow their businesses. Okay, well, that was one of the things I was going to ask you about is because uh, the website thing, you know, anybody can make a website these days, and that, that was a challenge early on is why should I pay you $1,000 or $5,000? I can have my nephew do it, and he could knock it out in a week. Yeah. The, the nephew doesn't know about business, for one thing, and if you're doing a business website, you got to know what the heck you're doing with it. Like, I, I think I saw your website. It's really, really simple where it's just like uh, about you, your blog, and uh, how to contact you is very, and then your portfolio, right? Yep, very simple. Yeah, because that's all you really need. I mean, look at the king. It's Google. It's pretty simple. You just put your search in a little box. It's done. The, the underneath it is complicated. There's a lot to it, but the front part is basic. So that's kind of what you're talking about. Well, yeah. One of the things that I, you know, yeah, a couple of things you mentioned. You mentioned that. You know, there's all these website builders. You can build your website, really build a website very simply. And that's what a lot of freelancers come to me and say, well, how can we compete with the, all these website builders? And I always tell them and it comes down to that business piece and it comes down to the marketing piece. And you want clients that want to grow their business or want to solve some very specific business problem rather than just they just want a website to check it off their list. And then in terms of the simple website, the other thing is I think people often build a website without any purpose right. so I'm always coming at it from what do I actually want to accomplish with that website and then I want you know whatever pages whatever features going to accomplish that so my business website the goal of it is to generate leads so everything is all everything is about generating leads and getting people to contact me and there's no sort of extra that takes away from that goal kind of like uh, Stephen Covey with the seven habits says begin with the end in mind yep you exactly know what the heck you're creating otherwise you might you know, go to build an apple tree and you end up building a banana tree. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Yeah, cool. So is, is that what sort of separates your agency from all the others out there is you, you, you have a business mindset? Well, yeah, I, mean, I think the, the thing is that we focus on solving very specific problems for people. So we have a, there are a number of industries that we do a lot of work in. We do a lot of industrial and manufacturing work. We work with a lot of construction companies, those kind of businesses. And we really work with people that want to generate leads online and actually want to 
use the internet to grow their business. So, you know, we're really good at helping those kind of people that want to generate a ton of leads. And that's what makes the business successful is we're going out and finding those, those people that really match that. Yeah, I think sometimes when people get into like designing websites, they may be a graphic designer that then got into it and they're building it all around the graphic design end of it. And then they forget about all the stuff that's underneath that needs to, the engine in the beautiful car, you know? Yep. Yep, so exactly. you, you said that you're doing something with no, with coaching, with helping other um, other people do the, the business aspect of it. You want to share a little bit about that? Yeah, so basically having grown the business and more specifically grown it into sort of a lifestyle business where projects are managed by project managers and things like that, and I've been able to travel. I've now focused more on working with other freelancers and agency owners to help them. And so I've been doing some one-on-one -on -one coaching as well as I've put together a couple um, training programs that involve videos as well as one-on-one -on -one aspects. Um, and so, you know, that's becoming more and more of my focus in doing that. Um, and, and part of that's because I've always had this sort of desire to teach and do public speaking, and I always even wanted to be a college professor, and I never had enough degrees to do that. But um, I've always had the, an interest in doing that. So that's been pretty cool, making that transition. Well, one of the questions I like to ask people is, why are you doing this? But you kind of already asked that, is you kind of want to help other people, which is uh, refreshing because that's what 99.9% .9 of the people at interview, they say they want to help other people. So there's, there's hope for humanity here. But why is it that you ended up doing this and as opposed to why aren't you like a ski instructor or why aren't you like a, a bass fishing coach or something? Why are you doing this? Because cause this is what I know. You know, that's the... You know, a lot of people come to me, whether they're a web designer or whether they have in some other business, they're asking, what business should I do or what niche should I focus on? And the answer is always what you're good at and what you actually know. And, and what you like. And what you like, yeah. I mean, it's all sort of related. And so, you know, it actually, took, it actually sort of took a mentor telling me, you know, why don't you focus on helping other web designers for me to almost... For me to actually have that realization and sort of put the pieces together, because I had been thinking about going in some other directions, and it was, you know, sometimes the the way to go is almost um, it's right under your nose, but you need somebody to, to point it out. Well, you've got that momentum going because you've been there, done that. You've got the experience, and now you just need to get behind it and uh, and help other people push the same thing rather than shifting gears. And all of a sudden, okay, no, I've got that problem myself entrepreneurially. I started doing magic when I was a little kid, and then mm -hmm. I did that as a living. Then I got a job, and I got laid off, and I opted, well, I don't want to get laid off anymore. So I became a, a magician. And then that got into being like an agency where I was representing other entertainers. Then it oh, got into okay. producing events, and then it got into producing expos. So it kind of got off track, sort of in the same realm, but it got off track. And in that whole realm of things, I also did... Uh, jewelry design, and uh, I was making magic props, and you, you get into other things. So once you got momentum, you might as well stick with it, and uh, you know just coach other people to help you push along. And that, I think you're on the right track, so to speak. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's so cool. I mean, I just it's interesting how when a client calls me up, like a a freelancer that I'm working with, and say they landed a client or they got some cool project or something. Um, that's cooler now than when I get a project or when I get a client, and it's just so cool to see somebody else doing that. Do you have like a group or something that your your uh, your uh, students will be in and things to learn from each other? Yeah, what we do is we get on we get on webinars every couple weeks, and everybody's asking questions and talking about what they're doing, and I think that's that's one of the coolest things. Yeah. Because um, sometimes they, somebody asks a question I would have never thought of, and. Sometimes people end up talking talking amongst themselves and, and coming up with ideas. So yeah, I used to really uh, host a mastermind that was like that. I kept it down to just seven people, and everybody would share. And uh, you know, the one person would learn from the other six. And as it rotates around, all of a sudden people get these ahas, and it, it escalates very, very rapidly. So that's very cool. So you want to share how to get a hold of you to do uh, whatever it is that you got going on? Any any uh, speaking engagements or programs or how to get involved with your uh, coaching system and all? Yeah, absolutely. You can just check out the, the website's agencyaccelerator.guru. 
and you can get in touch with us, in touch with in touch with us there. We're working on putting together some 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 additional free resources and some free trainings and things like that. But yeah, you can just get go to agencyaccelerator.guru and uh, get in touch with me that way. Agencyaccelerator.guru. That's pretty cool. Yep. <laughs> I got my mala beads on, so I'm, I'm a guru. <laughs> Very cool. Well, I don't like to do these too long because people have their uh, lives to live, whether they're out uh, skiing, enjoying their life, or working, or I don't know what that is. I, I quit working. <laughs> work is too much Me like too. work. It's, it's a four-letter word. Don't use that word, work. Exactly, exactly. Okay, Joseph, I appreciate you uh, taking the time to uh, share your knowledge, wisdom, and offer on, uh, and services with us. And uh, I will uh, put this out to the Internet and beam it out to the, the powers that be, and hopefully we'll make some connections. Sounds good. Great talking to you. Okay, peace. Thank you very much. <laughs> Talk to you soon.